Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Brown Superman's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting Final Order Cutoff. This week, yes, a lot of things have been changing with Final Order Cutoff. If you're getting Marvel Comics through Diamond, a lot of retailers have moved that Final Order Cutoff to Saturday or Sunday. Of course, if you're getting it from Penguin Random House, the Cutoff is still Monday, but we've also had a bunch of issues now that comics are starting to come from Penguin Random House. Have a whole video about that on my channel this past week. You guys could check that out. A lot of damages, but there are some great comics hitting Final Order Cutoff, so make sure you take note of that and get those pre-orders in to your local comic book store or online as soon as possible. Guarantee yourself a copy, and we're gonna jump right into it. From Image Comics, we get a new ongoing Chip Zdarsky title. I'm super excited about this, and it's called New Burn with New Burn number one. We get a private detective with absolutely no loyalties whatsoever. He's investigating a bunch of crime fractions and collecting enemies along the way. The first issue kicks off with a man who's caught stealing from his own mafia family and he is found dead, but that mafia family did not order the hit and it's up to Easton Newburn to figure it out. Love Chip Zdarsky, love Mafia, love Crime Noir. This fits, this checks all those boxes. It's got a cover A, there's also a Tula Lote cover B for this. So I'm definitely putting this on my pre-order list and it hits Final Order Cutoff this week. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you get your pre-order in now. Moving over to Dark Horse, we also get one of my favorite new titles. Mark Guggenheim had him on this channel, talked about this series, but Last Flight Out, issue number three, is hitting Final Order Cutoff. We just had issue number two hit store shelves this past week. Hope you guys have had a chance to pick that up. If you have, I'm sure you enjoyed it. It picked up right where issue number one left off, and issue number three will do the same. This is a six-issue miniseries, so make sure you guys get this on your pre-order. Love Mark Guggenheim. You might know him from shows like Arrow. He, he basically helped create the Arrowverse. He is also writing for that HBO Max upcoming Green Lantern series. So he's all over TV. He's all over comic books. He's even written video games. He's written movies. Right now he is, rest, he is writing Last Flight Out for Dark Horse. And it is one kick-ass story. Issue number three, adding that to my pre-order as well. From Marvel, we get Amazing Spider-Man number 78 dot B-A-Y, which stands for Beyond, of course. And here we have the Daughters of the Dragon training Spider-Man and kicking his butt in the process. But what's also more important about this is we get some more information behind a new villain, Obsidian Star. Villains come and go, but it might be something to take note of. And it also is something to take note of that, remember, Amazing Spider-Man is moving to three times a month. That Amazing Spider-Man title wasn't the most popular before. It's gotten some news with the whole Peter Parker, was he going to die? Ben Riley coming back for Spider-Man Beyond. They're moving into this big Spider-Man Beyond story arc. So that is what is coming up. And... Who knows what might happen of a Obsidian Star. Also from Marvel, we're getting a new direction for Black Panther with Black Panther number one. This is written by Academy Award winner John Ridley. He's done a bunch of stuff for film and TV. You might know him from 12 Years a Slave. He's also written Three Kings. He's also written Red Tails. He's done a lot of work behind the scenes moving back over to comic books. Here we're getting a new direction, new creative team, of course, and an espionage story to kick it off for T'Challa with Black Panther number one. There's some great covers for this. I personally like the Marvel Games variant, but if you're a fan of Black Panther, this is a new direction. If you're new to Black Panther, this is a great jumping on point. But either way, Black Panther number one hitting Final Order Cutoff as well this weekend. Moving back over to Indies for a second. From that AWA upshot, we get Knighted number one. This 
takes place in the universe of that other AWA title, Resistance, and the covers might look a little familiar, and the story sounds fantastic because it ties into that cover. You look at that cover, you automatically think of one popular character that everyone knows about, and here it kind of takes that type story and spins it on its head, where we get a hapless bureaucrat who's down on his luck, accidentally kills the masked vigilante, and ends up being forced to take on the mantle of that masked vigilante. But he's not on his own, he has the butler to help him out. So to me, it's kind of a side spin on Batman in a tale, and it's not tied to DC, so you get a lot of creative freedom on this. Of course, everyone is naturally gonna tie it to that Batman-like character. I mean, look at the covers. They look just like Batman, right? And we get Greg Hurwitz writing this, who was also on Legends of the Dark Knight. Not only that, but he was also involved in Vengeance of Moon Knight. So we get the best of both characters in that writer for this independent series. I love this book. I love the covers. I'm going to pre-order both covers and I can't wait to get this. And the great thing about this, AWA Epshot might not be carried in a lot of LCSs. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you let your LCS know you want this. Final word cutoff is this weekend or get your order in online. I am super, super, super excited to read this in case you haven't been able to tell so far. Moving on, getting into the actual DC universe for a second. One of my favorite writers talked about him a lot of times in this video series on my channel. Tom Taylor is finally bringing us that Dark Knights of Steel number one. This is a limited series, kind of like an Elseworld type story, but I'm super excited about this. It's almost seems like a Batman DC universe, Game of Thrones medieval type story with Tom Taylor's writing. I am thrilled to get this in my hands, to read it, and there's some great covers for it. In this, we get a spaceship that crash lands from a doomed planet. We've heard that before, right? Superman, kal -El. But what we don't have so far, and we're getting this time, is that monarchs will die, kingdoms will rise, and this, what again, like I said before, takes place in medieval times. Yes, not like the cable guy. <laughs> But in DC Universe, and we are promised an epic fantasy story, and I have no doubt Tom Taylor will deliver. Looking forward to it, like I've said. A couple great covers for this. We have that regular Yasmin Putri variant, but there's also a gorgeous Joshua Middleton cardstock variant, and Friends of the Channel, The 616 Comics has a kick-ass store exclusive available on their site. So if you're looking for additional covers for what looks to be a great story, make sure you check out the 616comics.com. Also from DC Comics, staying with that Batman theme, we get Robin and Batman number one. And in case you might have noticed, Robin's name is before Batman. That is because this is Jeff Lemire's story and it is the story behind Dick Grayson as Robin, talking about from being an orphan, to being taken under Batman's wing. The great creative team behind Descender, Ascender, a bunch of other books. We got Jeff Lemire, we got Dustin Wynn writing and art on this, and you have a Dustin Wynn cover A and a Jeff Lemire cover B. So if you're a fan of Jeff Lemire, especially with DC Comics, his take on DC's New 52 Green Arrow is one of my favorites, so that's why I have this in here for pre-order, and I'm looking to pick this up for FOC. And then from Archie Comics, we get an anthology one-shot, and it is telling us that the future of Archie Comics starts here. Either way, we are talking about the chilling adventures in sorcery. This book is narrated, or actually our tour guide, as they say, is Madam Satan herself, who travels through the rings of hell in reverse, and along the way, she meets some lost and tortured souls which ends up being multiple stories throughout this one shot. One of them is Archie Andrews himself taking on the role as a nighttime security clerk at a local pizzeria, but he finds out there's a deep, dark, robotic, monstrous secret. And then also we get Jughead Jones, who's never met a food that he didn't like until now when he hears an eerie noise coming from the kitchen. I'm a big fan of Archie comics. I love horror comics. 
I like these chilling adventure type books. So I'm definitely picking this up. And I cut my teeth in comics collecting Archie Double Digest. So it has a special place in my heart, but I'm excited to pick this up just to give it a read, especially given this time of year. Love Halloween. This book does actually come out just after Halloween on November 3rd, but final writer cutoff for it is this weekend. Then from Aftershock Comics, we get The Heathens number one. Here we get writer Cullen Bunn take on another great historical fiction horror style comic. Here we got evil men and women escaping the depths of the eternal abyss, which I would most likely say is probably hell, right? We get the pirate queen who is sent after to retrieve them. But when one of history's most notorious killers breaks free, even she will need a little help. That's where The Heathens come in. You might recognize some of these names, but we got Lucky Luciano, Bumpy Johnson, Sophia the Golden Hand, and Billy the Kid. I'll make you famous. Regulate. <laughs> Which that's kind of what this reminds me of, right? We get regulators from hell who are regulating people that escape from hell. And it's written by Cullen Bunn from Aftershock Comics, The Heathens number one. I don't need to say much more about that. I'm definitely pre-ordering this. And right now I only see one cover for it. That might change, but that's all I'm seeing. So Heathens number one from Aftershock going on my pre-order list. There is one trade paperback that I wanted to bring up. I always talk about how I like that Star Wars High Republic Adventures from IDW better than the Marvel series. I do like the Marvel series, but the IDW one is so much better for me, I really enjoy that more than the Marvel series. If you're a fan of trade paperbacks, you do get that Star Wars High Republic Adventures Volume 1 trade paperback hitting FOC this week. So that's something to take note of. And we don't have a lot, but there are some few additional or late printings hitting FOC this week. From Image Comics, we get What's the Furthest Place from Here, number one, getting a second print. And then from Black Mask, we get God Killer, Tomorrow's Ashes, number one, getting a fourth print. Issue number two, getting a third print, and issue number three, getting a second print. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics. Hitting Final Order Cutoff this weekend. Again, make sure you pay attention to your LCS or online. Final Order Cutoff dates are often shifting with new publishers coming in, so make sure you pay note of that. I still put Monday as the official date, but want to make sure you guys watching don't miss out on that window of opportunity. And if you're new to my channel and new to these videos, please consider subscribing. Click that thumbs up button for me. And with that being said, this is Brown with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.